Our coverage of Colorado now takes us to Parker, where three more businesses are the target of smash and grab burglaries. In the past two days, a total of 10 spots were hit, all of them within a couple of miles of each other, and police say all of the burglaries are eerily similar. RJ Mulary live at the Swirls Frozen Yogurt on Main Street. Jamie, the burglars didn't even get away with anything. They didn't this time, and they haven't before either. Swirls has been here for seven years. Priority number one was making sure they were still open for business this morning. Priority number two is going to be fixing this door, and damages will likely have to come out of pocket. Once again, the thieves used a rock to smash through the front door, and these businesses are sick of it. They just want the crooks caught. We were, you know, thinking of all the other businesses that were hit, and we were thinking that we could be one of them. Um, and sure enough, a rock came flying through the door of Swirls Frozen Yogurt around 5 Tuesday morning. There was one thing the thief didn't quite expect. He came in and we had the uh, scarecrow guy that on a motion sensor and he went off. The thief seemed momentarily startled by the Halloween decoration. Owner Chad Maddox got some comic relief, but mostly... It's sad. It's, you know, targeting small businesses. Um, you know, all of them which put their hearts and souls into their businesses to have somebody come in here and, you know, take it from you like that. He even made an extra effort to prevent this kind of thing from happening. I emptied the cash drawer and I put the cash drawer actually outside facing the front door. And the thief still went for it. I guess the guy is uh, not the sharpest tool. Chad's message? Good luck to him. Good luck. It's... That's, that's shameful that you have to stoop to that level. The door is damaged, but the yogurt, that's still there. And the most important thing to Chad? Happy kids, happy customers. Police say they are stepping up patrols in the area overnight, and there are now detectives from several agencies working together across city lines to see if these are all connected. We'll continue to follow the story. Live in Parker, Jamie Leary, covering Colorado First.